All right, here we have our all original uh, 1993 Ford Bronco. Uh, it's a California truck. It's been California its whole life uh, until we picked it up and had it sent up here to Washington State. Um, so it's only been in this state for about a month and a half. All original paint and body, no accidents, clean California title. Um, it's always it's passed the submissions, which is California is one of the strictest in the country. So uh, it says a lot about a truck. It's factory, all factory Oxford white paint. You know, it has a little bit of wear and tear here and there with some chips and stuff like that. But um, being an all original paint truck is always a huge deal. Um, they always look different than repaints and it's, it's awesome to find. Um, you know, it's uh, not a perfect Bronco. Um, you know, could use a little interior cleanup and stuff like that, but it's very clean, honest, and it's uh, it's just a killer Bronco. So we'll go ahead and get into the small wear and tears. You know, you got your tiny, you got your stone chips on the front face of the hood, and you'll have some that follow up throughout the front, and you'll find some up here. Got a little scuff in the paint, those two areas. Uh, no chips or cracks in the window. Uh, both headlights are have faded a little bit to kind of and you know got a little brown tinge to them which happens with these um, but the corner lights and all the color lights are in really nice shape uh, chrome's got really nice deep reflection uh, all the black moldings are still nice and black but they have a slight little, little bit of fading going but that's kind of uh, the trade-off for being a nice rust free california truck is you get the sun action that will fade out the coves and cutouts in the grill um, you know, you do have a little bit of stone peppering on the chrome too, um, from little stone chips and stuff like that, but it presents really well, um, kind of matches the rest of the truck, it's nice original. Still has the polished aluminum forged uh, cool wheels, uh, those are the original ones, so it's cool to see it's made it this long, um, you know, almost, you know, almost 25 years, and uh, it's got some 32 inch all terrains, they don't rub anywhere, you know, you can see. All the bumper lines are nice shape and not tilted down um, but you do have some wear you know you had a little paint lifting here but it doesn't have any edges on it so you can run your fingernail here and it doesn't pull any up um, this is a common area for paint to lift and it doesn't have it there um, it's so it's very minimal um, you got some chips here you got some stuff along here um, Go on the driver's side. Uh, the rubbers on the wing, wing window are in nice shape, but the door felts along the side are cracked out. Um, you got a little chip in the body joint there. Slight stress crack right there. Top's never been off. All the panels inside are in good shape. It doesn't leak. Um, mirrors are a little faded, but the awesome thing is, is uh, you can get a brand new set for about 45 bucks to the door um, right on eBay or Amazon. Got some stone chips there. Um, I'm assuming they're stone style chips because there's no dings on it. Um, the only ding on the truck is a little ding right there, and if you put the factory chrome over the top, which this truck didn't come with, um, you wouldn't even see it. Bronco emblem, the black is a little faded, but still presents really nice. You probably could get some of that, you know, mother's back to black, and it would look really good. You do got stone chips along here, you know, all these little stone chips along here on this flat piece that comes out. Rocks come up and just catch it. Um, if it would have had mud flaps or running boards on it, it'd be... Um, you wouldn't really see as many. You got some door edge chips. Some chips there. Really nice inside the gas door. Um, you can tell it's no original paint. This is how the factory they are. Um, but there's no overspray in here or anything like that. Again, really nice right here. Top's never been off, so this isn't damaged. The white, the fiberglass is in excellent condition. Uh, chrome around the rubber is in nice shape. take you to the back here the uh, spare tire carrier could use a little grease but shuts and opens nice just got a little squeak to it it's got uh, some chips some cargo loading and again the rear rubbers are dry and they have put uh, a couple little surface scratches in the, in the glass so you might want to replace those um, depending on where you go you can get the both sides of all four door felts for the side doors for about 60 bucks to, to 95 bucks depending on where you go to the door um, and this back rubber piece about 45 bucks nice rear chrome bumper a little bit of standard chipping in the in the uh, gray hitch area but it's not turned up like you'll see I mean these slightest bump on these things turn up so they're in really nice shape the aluminum's a nice shape no dings or dents no plastic no cracks in the plastic um, 
rear window goes down with the switch from the inside and the exterior exterior key. Um, this is the only um, dent. It's more of like a crease. There's not really any hardly any paint damage. Um, you got a little. What looks like it may be, you know, like maybe a piece of wood, you know, like a wood fence or something, maybe softy. So a PDR, a paintless dent removal guy, could probably iron this out because there is no no paint damage and make it look a lot better. Um, but it's really not bad. You know, it's, uh, you got a scratch here, probably happen at the same time, along with this little chip. Got a chip here, a little touched up area there. A little area that was touched up, small chip, door entry stuff. Small chip. Got some chips along there. Uh, the outside, um, I think, looks outstanding, and I would leave it just the way it is. Um, again, your outside mirror could use replacing. Felts match the other side. A um, little chip hearing, a little chip on the edges there. But again, these are the same as the other side. They don't have any edges to them, they're not flaking. Um, and they've been there a long time. So, you know, those are the trade offs for original paint. To me, stuff like that um, doesn't deter his way um, from a truck that's been repainted because I'm really curious what's underneath. But this, uh, it looks like they ran over. So this is some black paint. So if you got some lacquer thinner, if I can remember, I'll knock that off too for you. A little bit of chips. And this truck's going to be going at no reserve. Uh, the outside, I think, is, looks great. Um, you know, nice paint, nice shine, Oxford white. Um, just an original paint guy, but the interior is where it's going to need, you know, if you want to bring it to the next level. It's perfectly presentable, as is. The dash is really nice, but you got some aging on the XLT trim around both door panels. No cracks or holes in the dash. I mean, it's all original, even the stereo. It's cool to see that stuff. Um, has all its original books. It even still has the dealer jacket, has original keys. Um, so stuff like that to me um, outshines some of the stuff like the carpet is faded and it's also stained in some areas just, You know kind of from feet and stuff like that. I mean carpets take the brunt of it Looks like they had something glued right there But uh, ashtray is a nice shape. It's a non-smoker. No pet smells um, Rear seat folds down common thing with these you could tuck this back up in there, but a lot of these, especially the leather Eddie Bauer ones, fall down, but there's no holes in it. Um, but you will see, like, you know, just dark staining on the side of the carpet. Um, you know, it's got fading. You can kind of see here it's a little faded. It should be a lot, a lot more darker of a gray, more like this or this material. So um, you can get carpet kit um, that goes all the way to the back and the side rear wheel wells for about 300 bucks to the door. Again, you can get through LMC truck, eBay, or Amazon. And it's, you know, uh, for a guy that's never worked on a vehicle, you kind of just need your standard tools. And uh, it would take you about a, you know, maybe, you know, to take it all out and do a real good job, clean underneath the carpet. You know, you're gonna spend half a day, but it's easy because you don't have, it's a push button four wheel drive system, so you don't have to cut out the shifter. So you're gonna save a lot of time. All you gotta do is trim the sides and throw it down. Um, there's some wear on the steering wheel, but it's still nice and tight. Again, wear there. And then, uh, well, I didn't show the other door panel, but the other door panel is worn. You know, this one's got some marks in it. Again, the silver there. Um, it's cracks there. But, um, you know, perfectly presentable, and to most people, it's perfectly fine. Um, so if you would replace the carpets, I would keep an eye out on eBay for a nice new set of door panels. Or, again, you can buy them brand new too got the decal there and you're not gonna see any paint overspray here no tape off marks it's nice original there is a weird little area like maybe they had to fix something maybe the uh, the runner for the window came undone but it looks like they did put a new rivet in there and did a little bit of work um, but no rust no cracks really clean underneath I mean for 199,000 miles and 25 years of age um, it's just super clean I'm just gonna show you this door panel I missed over real quick. You know, it looks a lot better on the driver's side, but you do have a stress crack and some fading. Kinda, you know, like I said before, it's the trade-off for California, rust-free stuff. It's got the five liter V8, you know, all power windows, power door locks, all those options. Um, it's got the overdrive automatic transmission and mentioned above or before, it's got uh, the push button 
automatic four-wheel drive system with the automatic hubs. Which, I mean, some guys like to trade out the hubs. Get the hood up here for you. It's nice and clean. You see the bolts have never been messed with. This is early, the 92s and 93s. Didn't come body color. This came, this, this is the standard way they look. You'll see after 94, this would be all white. Um, but you can see the bolts have never been messed with. The hinges are still, have a nice, decent anodized look to it. You know, not um, a super clean engine bay um, because we keep them honest and so you can see how it's been cared for the last 25 years um, and maintained. Still got its original jack. Um, you know, original starter solenoid. I mean, this is just a really original, completely not mess with uh, Honest Bronco. And we've had tie rods put on it, um, along with a brand new steering box and the oil change. So it's pretty much ready to go. The AC system um, does need to be recharged. So it does not blow cold. That's the only thing that doesn't work. You can see the nice rust-free condition. It's real common for these to rust out here. And this is why Washington, Oregon, and California are pretty much the most sought after for rust-free trucks because Washington, Oregon, and California, obviously we don't use salt on the roads. I mean, California doesn't get snow, um, but they do get the sun baked. You can see the carpet back here is a little stained and faded, but it's got this nice covering up, like, you know, up front. It's got the, um, it's got the, uh, um, the floor mats too, so you can just go ahead and cover that stuff up and you know leave the carpet the way it is or go crazy and replace it all All right, so you know uh, If you were to do some door panels even some nicer used ones and some carpet um, Really would take this thing to the next level, but it is You know that being said, you know, I like to try to explain everything and show everything and leave nothing uh you know, unsaid for no surprises, but it's a really clean Bronco and it gets nice compliments, nice shine to the paint, um, no accidents. Um, so, all right, it's going at no reserve, so uh, good luck. All right, here we are in our cold start video of our uh, 1993 Ford Bronco. It's got the five liter V8, um, all original survivor from California. Gonna reach down in here, grab a hold of the exhaust manifold so you can see it's nice and cold. Um, the gauge will show that too, but we just do it because some vehicles, especially the older they get, tend to run a little different, cold and warm. Um, so we'll uh, grab the keys here. Lights go out. You can see the temp gauge is buried on cold. Running nice and smooth. Exhaust isn't shaking, no smoking. No belt squealing or anything. Also take this opportunity to show that the uh, rear window does go down from the switch and up. So down she goes, and then uh, we'll pull it up with the other one and uh, let her warm up, and we'll go do a driving video. Thank you. All right, here we are on a running driving video of our 93 Bronco. You see the lights are on, four ways are gone. She's been idling for about 10, 15 minutes, so the temperature gauge should be starting to come up. You can see the license plate light works on both ends. Burning nice and clean. Um, you know, this is, like I mentioned before, it's original California Bronco. It's only been in Washington State uh, since we got it. It's all original, I mean, untouched. Even the stereo is uh, the original tape deck, you know. It works, uh, works as it should, you know, but it's not going to win uh, any uh, stereo competitions. So we're going to go ahead and get going on uh, just a little driving video. The rear, uh, it's a rear fog, the defrogger switch. Blower motor works nice, nice and smooth. Uh, AC doesn't look old, so you're gonna, you know, need to get that recharged. Both fly windows are nice and tight. You know, you gotta give them good pressure, <clears throat> and they lock really nice. You got your power mirrors. You see those operating nice. Power door locks. Windows go down with nice speed. Of course, they go all the way down and stuff, but don't wanna bore you to death with. Uh, I want to switch. The driver's probably been replaced because it's super fast and the passenger's probably the original. It's a little slower. Um, 
go ahead and got the e-brake off and uh, you know we're gonna hit the road you know it's got intermediate wipers and then it's got you know you got your slow of course got your high now uh, the window's been replaced it's brand new but turn those off because it uh, is hot out it's a little sunny out so uh, hopefully uh, you can see uh, see fine we're gonna turn up here um, and hopefully the glare will go away but you can see it's got great paint reflection um, it's always nice to have a it helps out with the drive quality to have um, no cracks in the window and nice paint looking back at you when you're driving so that's staring at you a little bit but we're only about uh, two blocks away from hanging a left and then we should be good I'm gonna take you through just a little back road it's got some bad patches in the road um, and some potholes so it's a good one to show you know the soundness of it, it doesn't have a rattly dash and crazy rattle door panels um, and it's got some nice S curves to show the steering's nice and tight of course we did the tie rods we did the steering box the tires are in excellent condition the brakes are good um, but uh, you know it's got 199 on it 474 miles it's got the tachometer you can see the temp gauge starting to come up um, but uh, it's got really good power it's got the 5 liter um, that always it's just kind of like a legendary motor I mean the 302 is just killer uh, delivers good power um, transmission shifts nice through all the gears you got no rear end noise um, it's just a nice solid Bronco you know um, there's a pretty good patch we just soaked up we're gonna take a hard left and then a right and left again you can see just no ball joint clicking no tie rod or power or steering box play you know that stuff's new you can just see where wherever you point the steering wheel it goes you're not chasing it down These tires are a nice all-terrain. They're not loud at all. I mean, they're just a really nice highway tire, but they got a great look to them. You know, they got a good sidewall to give them a more aggressive look. You know, smooth braking, doesn't pull any direction, make any noises, or pulsate through the pedal. But, uh, you know, I was talking before, I mean, I love the way the outside looks. Being original paint, you know, it does have its little imperfections here and there. But being original paint guy, that stuff doesn't bother me for, you know, a 20-plus-year-old truck that's, you know, well over two decades old. Uh, the interior could use a little bit of cleaning, you know, not cleaning, but uh, could use a little bit of love if you want perfection. If you're looking for a Bronco to take out and go to the beach and or run around the farm or... Um, the door panels and the, the carpet are not something that's going to bother you. If you're not obsessed with perfection, it's not going to bother you. If you want a nice looking, completely respectable, honest, original Bronco, that stuff's not going to bother you. But if you want perfection, you're probably going to want to do a carpet kit and change the door panels. Um, then really you're going to have, you know, 9 out of 10 uh, interior. we got to wait for our little hole shot here. You can see the temp gauge is coming up good now. So. Uh, traffic's a little bit heavy. I'm hoping there's not going to be too bad on the highway. Um, we're going to hang a lap up here. I'm going to give a little, give her a little bit of juice. Just got that nice deep throttle body sound. And it's really responsive. I'm going to go up this little hill. It's a sharp one, and it's really steep. So just going to give it medium quarter throttle, like you're just putting down a back road. I'm going to give it about three quarter now. You want to accelerate see the rpm gauge you can see it's all nice and smooth that's what you want to see you don't want to see like getting stuck and shaking um but you can see it just drives straight in the zero and it's super tight um you know these uh doesn't have any excess wind noises you know they don't have the best aerodynamics so there'll never be no wind noise um but uh it's super tight um it's a push button automatic full drive system, automatic hubs. So I'll have to, uh, I'll actually was gonna do it before, but I'll pull off up here and go ahead and click that in so you can see what that's like. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let there be a little bit of a gap. Go ahead and, you can see it downshifts nice. 
And the transmission acts just as it should. You're, you're putting around town, it's a smooth, consistent shifts. You hammer down on it and you give it a lot of gas. You got quick down shifts, quick firm up shifts. Um, it just handles perfect. I mean, it's a great Bronco. You know, and I'm just up and down on the throttle so you can see how it down shifts and everything. And um, it's got excellent sound, no, no uh, exhaust leaks, anything like that. It's a shift on the fly system, as simple as that. You click it on, light comes on, the four wheel drive light comes on. And it's activated. It's uh, I could feel it grabbing up front, and then uh, you know to pull it out, you can simply push four by four, and eventually it's going to go out. Um, but since it's a hot day out and it's dry, I'm going to go ahead and just try to do it a little bit early and beat it to it and put it in reverse, and then it's completely out. And if you want to do four low, low range, it's got to be stopped. You know, sometimes you got to put it in neutral, and you push four by four, then low range, it'll blink, and then it'll activate, and that's when you know you're in there. Alright, it's going to no reserve.